The bill comes in response to the Uvalde school shooting last year that left 19 children and two adults dead. Texas lawmakers sent a sweeping school safety measure to Governor Greg Abbott on Sunday, including in their response to last year's Uvalde massacre, a, requ uh, a requirement to post an armed security officer at every school and provide mental health training for certain district employees. The measure also gives the state more power to compel school districts to create active shooter plans. Both chambers gave their final approval to House Bill 3 after ironing out their differences over the last week. Quote, it's time to act, said Representative Ken King. Um, he's a Republican from Canadian. I guess that's a township or an area in Texas. Before the vote was taken, we need to prevent the next wild day. The provision to require an armed person at every and, and all the while make gun manufacturers just keep on making more and more money. The, pro, the provision to require an armed person at every school campus was added back into the bill during the negotiation process after the Senate took it out. Earlier in the session, the armed person can be either a peace officer, a school resource officer, a school marshal, or a school district employee. The provision caused the most um, consternation, caused the most consternation uh, among the opponents of the bill who have argued all through the legislative session that fewer guns, not more, is the solution to mass shootings. Still, the bill passed by a relatively large margin in the House 93 to 49. Representative Vicki Goodwin of Austin said requiring an armed person at schools will endanger students instead of insure, uh, ensuring their safety, which is true. I mean, you know, and again, at the same time, like if somebody's going to run up in this, it's like if someone's going to run up in a school and shoot it or run up in a supermarket market and shoot it up, there's a good chance that they somewhat expect to die that same day. There's a very good chance of that. So. This really won't deter people from showing up and who have a death wish, you know, like it's safe to assume that they probably guess if I do this, police officers or someone's probably going to shoot me. So. This is not a real deterrent. This is some Hollywood BS. Quote, the potential for disastrous consequences is staggering, Goodwin said. The proposal requires the Texas School Safety Center, a Texas State University think tank that has been reviewing the school's safety protocols since the 2018 Santa Fe High School shooting, to review best practices to best secure campuses every five years. In the Uvalde shooting, the gunman entered Robb Elementary through a back door that failed to properly lock. The bill would also create a regional safety team's We'll create regional safety teams. Sorry, I got this mic like I need, I need to move it over. It's like blocking some of my vision on this screen. Uh, safety teams that would conduct intruder detection audits uh, at least once a year. HB3 would create a safety and security department within the Texas Education Agency and give it the authority to compel school districts to establish robust active shooter protocols and follow them. Those that fail to meet the agency standards could be put under the state supervision. The bill would also require the TEA to develop standards for notifying parents of violent activity on campus and set up school safety review teams to conduct vulnerability assessments. It, it, it's like, again, no, and no matter what happens, gun manufacturers just keep making more money. Both chambers have said school safety is a priority this session after a gunman killed 19 children and two teachers at Uvalde Elementary School last year. However, parents of the Uvalde victims were left disappointed after the raise the age bill they advocated for failed earlier in the session. And so, you know, again, it's like they'll 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 do stuff like, all right. I mean, th think about how many public schools are in a state the size of Texas. I don't know how many that is off the top of my head. Matter of fact, let's 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 look right now. We I'm gonna look right now. How many public schools in Texas? Um. Okay. So as a it says as of last year, Texas had five million one hundred fifty six thousand nine hundred seventy two students enrolled, and these are, these are the public schools. 8,161 schools in 1,022 school districts. So y'all got 1,022 school districts, 8,161 schools within those public school districts. And you're going to put 8,000.
thousand people with guns in these schools, but you but but what you won't do is raise the minimum age from 18 to 21. You won't do that, but you'll put eight thousand guns in these schools at all times, which again is not going to deter someone with a death wish from running up in a school and doing what they've been doing anyway. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, you, you won't even, I mean, and this is so simple. This is so simple and you won't do it. To further harden, which again, keep in mind, this is another huge uh, political problem for the Republican party. One, all their obviously all their racist BS is a huge issue. Two, abortion in terms of policy, their anti-abortion stances and them doing all these six-week abortions, the reversal of Roe v. Wade. And then stuff like this is another huge one. Cause it's like y'all trying to make y'all trying to make um, America a literal John Wick movie, like a John Wick experience. You know what I mean? Like that's really what they're trying to do. To further harden schools, the state uh, would give each school district $15,000 per campus and $10 per student. A figure that many school officials say isn't enough. What does that even mean? What, why are they giving them money to $10 per student? In addition, lawmakers have allocated $1.1 billion to the uh, TEA to administer school safety grants to the state's more than 1,000 school districts. What is that going to do to harden schools? We'll give you 50. What, what is $15,000 going to buy of any kind of significance in today's economy? Nothing. $15,000 ain't nothing these days. That ain't no money. I mean, that's the money that you can survive on. But what you gonna purchase that's of any type of substance with 15 racks? Nothing. You can't get nothing with fifteen thousand dollars. But you won't but you won't raise the minimum age to 21. It's so it's so ridiculous. Senator Roland Gutierrez, um, a San Antonio Democrat who represents Uvalde, said Sunday that he voted against the bill because of the funding concerns. It is sick and twisted that we have the largest budget surplus in Texas history, and we aren't doing a damn thing to keep our kids safe. We aren't doing anything to prevent another Uvalde. Under the bill, school employees who regularly interact with children would need to complete an evidence-based mental health first aid training program. The TEA would reimburse the employee for the time and money spent on the training. In counties with fewer than 350,000 people, the bill requires the sheriff to hold semi-annual meetings to discuss school safety and law enforcement response to violent incidents. This includes making sure there is a certain chain of command and that all radios are working. In the aftermath of the Uvalde shooting uh, last year, nearly 100 law enforcement officers from different agencies descended upon Robb Elementary in a chaotic, uncoordinated scene that lasted for more than an hour and they didn't do nothing. 